local fundraising campaign that's underway on Miami Beach, and it doesn't pass the smell test. The money, about a million bucks so far, is pouring into a political action committee called Relentless for Progress, RFP. Some of that money is paying for this TV ad featuring Miami Beach Mayor Philip Levine, who is seen bragging about all the good things he and his commission buddies are doing. And in fact, there are many good things going on on Miami Beach, thanks to Mayor Levine. He's a smart guy, successful businessman, a leader in the campaign to raise awareness about sea level rise and climate change. And he was a champion for installing those huge pumps on South Beach to alleviate tidal flooding. Good for him. The mayor, I think, was also right to stop bars on Ocean Drive from serving drinks outside after 2 a.m. so that the street didn't become another bourbon street. But the mayor and his good friend Jonah Wolfson, a Miami Beach commissioner who is term limited, are now engaged in a fundraising campaign that just stinks. Their political action committee is strong arming city vendors for big contributions. Now, the city attorney says it's okay legally, and perhaps it is, but it is not okay morally or ethically. And when two Miami Beach commissioners asked to send the question of the Miami Dade Ethics Commission, they were voted down. Unbelievable. Demanding money from city vendors just is not right. And we're talking about donations that range from $20,000 to $100,000. The County Ethics Commission says it is going to investigate on its own, as well it should. But that will take months. Next fall's elections will be long over by the time the Ethics Commission finally weighs in. And in the meantime, all that PAC money will be used to elect Miami Beach Commission candidates who are supporters of Mayor Levine. Nothing wrong with that, nothing wrong with running a slate of candidates. What is wrong is taking money from people who do business with the city of Miami Beach, who are limited in the amount of money they can give individual candidates, but are not limited in how much they can give to a PAC. The PAC then helps their favorite candidates. It's all very clever and all very stinky. Mayor Levine has a bright political future. His political action committee is dimming his luster. That's my perspective. Hope you have a wonderful Sunday. Remember, as always, stay informed, get involved. And we love to hear what you think.